Hello. So, we are on day one of the uh, challenge, or not really a challenge, but the, uh, you know, media project. Today, I did read the first chapter of the French book that I'm going to be reading uh, for this week, um, the, which is the first series of unfortunate events books on my lunch break at work. So that was only like nine minutes long. <laughs> um, and then, very excitingly, uh, my Spanish book arrived in the mail. I didn't think I was going to get it until Wednesday because it was very, very slow shipping. Like I ordered this two or, two or more weeks ago. But um, yes, so this is Las Malas by Camila Sosa Villada. Um, I am going to read some of this before I go to sleep. It is 8.40, so I will only have like an hour and a half or so before I should go to bed, but um, I did have to go to the store on my way home from work and I also went for a run. I was initially trying to run every day in June and then the air quality thing happened. Uh, I am not, you know, anywhere near the wildfires or anything like that, but I am far enough northeast that we did have really bad air quality for about a week or so. Today was the first day that I managed to get back out <laughs> and run, and it's like June 12th, so I have run like five, four or five days this month so far, so definitely not what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Um, it was obviously circumstances beyond my control, so... Yeah, I am trying to work on, you know, achieving some balance. I have mentioned before multiple times that I think I use languages or reading or just hobbies in general as kind of a an excuse to not always, I don't want to say take care of myself because I do take care of myself. I don't know. It's more care of my environment. Like, I ignore tasks that I should do. So, anyway, um, I am going to be working that in this week, hopefully. So, I am going to read some of this, and then we will see where we end up. Hello. So, it is Tuesday, and, um... <laughs> things have still not been going very well. Uh, I have, oh, you can see my guest here. I have had the worst headache all day. So anyway, I have read a little bit more and I'm feeling pretty good right now. So I am going to continue reading. I also listened to a TED talk by the author TJ told me about, I think. And so, um, that was very, very good, very emotional. So yeah, I am going to read more. I am really, really liking this. The writing style is so beautiful. Um, it is very sad, but also, yeah, very beautiful, very, like, hopeful. Like, it says that in this story, this DNA converged to facets of transness that most repel and scare um, society. Trans rage and the party of being trans, the joy of being trans. And I would say so far that seems definitely true. So anyway, I'm going to keep reading and then I also need to get my, get some French reading in today because I haven't done any of that yet. So. So this week continues to not go at all according to plan. So I had a little stomach bug over the past day or so. Not very serious, but like just, you know, not my best. I haven't done a whole lot for the challenge, but I did start a new Spanish course and I have been watching um, some ridiculous television because that's what you do when you're sick, you know? So I've been watching Perfil Falso. 
it's like a catfishing or something like that kind of thriller like drama show very very telenovela-esque and yeah it's okay but i have read a little bit more of las malas i am this far into it and i am still absolutely loving it no complaints here it is friday so i will have a little bit more time over the next two days to do things i will be doing stuff in the morning on my uh, study with me and then sunday i can do some stuff as well so i'm still hoping to do quite a bit of things but i am going to start focusing just on the spanish book because there was a lot of stuff that i wanted to do with this book and obviously i can still do that outside of this week there's no reason that i need to finish it this week but i don't want to you know forget about it when i'm not having this focused time so anyway So I have finished translating the first section that I wanted to translate uh, from the book. I don't feel like I can read it because I feel like it's too long. Yeah, it was really fun. And then I compared it to the English translation and <laughs> it's like so funny because some of the things were obviously that I was like, oh yeah, that's such a better way to say that. But other things like i liked my translation better <laughs> i think there are probably like different schools of translation i imagine on like whether you change things or not you know like a spectrum of how much you change and there were just things that the translator changed that i just didn't see why you would do that you know like so there's a sentence that says no in realidad somos nocturnas ¿Para qué negarlo? No salimos del día. And I translated that fairly literally, like, no, in reality, we were nocturnal. Why deny it? We didn't go out during the day. And she translated it. I think it's a she. No, there's no getting away from it. We were nocturnal by nature. We avoided daylight. I just don't see why. Anyway. I do have one more section that I do want to do. Um, I'm gonna take a break and probably try to finish that catfishing show that I keep forgetting the name of. We are back in bad air quality. I was hoping to go to the park today. Hello. So I am going to do some cleaning and I am just going to listen to something in English while I do that. You know, not to go into like self-help mode or something, but I think we always talk a lot about, you know, kind of maximizing time, language learning, and I do think that that's great and something that I absolutely try to do. But sometimes, you know, like I was talking about at the beginning of this week, I've been trying to balance things and when you know, when my mental health is not amazing, I very, very much struggle with executive function, like with any housework, any thing that I don't want to do. Like if it doesn't immediately give me dopamine, then I don't want to do it and I just will not. And so I think sometimes I just have to give myself a pass. Not that I need a pass, you know, but it's like, if I can make it that much simpler for myself, just take away any like barriers to doing the thing where, you know, I listen to Spanish literally for hours every single day. It's not even something I would normally consider a barrier, but once there's that level of like, I don't want to do housework, <laughs> then like even that little tiny layer on top of like listening to Spanish while I do it is still like it's still adding to the effort so if I can take away that then I will you know when I'm feeling good and, and it's fine then I don't worry about it you know I'll just do languages like I always would but sometimes you just have to modify it in order to get things done so I think I'm going to do that 
thing where you set a timer and just clean for like 40 minutes or something like that and just see how much you can get done. So I'll probably just pick a podcast episode or an audiobook or something and just go. So I was sitting here and just like trying to get my stuff ready for a nice, you know, study session and I accidentally drank almost my entire smoothie just sitting here. So I have done both of the translation sections that I wanted to do and I started watching some YouTube videos, uh, interviews with the author and such and uh, she's definitely a very interesting person to listen to talking and I also read the this f- uh, forward, like a author's note in the English translation of the book that was very, very interesting. It was talking about the term travesti, which used to be or still could be considered kind of a slur or an, like a derogatory term. How she and kind of the community in South America, specifically, obviously for her, Argentina, have kind of reclaimed the term, I guess you could say, and her you know, reasoning behind that, her reasoning for kind of rejecting the terms that North America or the West has chosen. And um, yeah, it was very, very interesting. If I have the ability to post a link to it, I will. Even if you're not learning Spanish, I think it's interesting because it was just kind of a perspective of like how the North, the global North, you know, kind of sometimes tries to impose their own ideas on the rest of the world even when not understanding that things may have developed completely differently there and yeah just very very interesting so i also will put in the description a link to a playlist that i made of videos of the author because even if I'm, you know, I'm not going to get to all of them today, it's several hours worth of stuff, but I will be watching them. So yeah, right now I am going to do some actual study. Uh, For some reason, I'm really into that right now. And then at some point this evening, I do want to do some more French, so. I kind of forgot to film like a outro to this, but that's pretty much all that I did for the week. I do plan to continue working with both of the pieces of media that I chose for this, uh, you know, after the end of this week, but this week was not ideal with, you know, getting sick and (laughs) just kind of being overall busy, but it was still a really interesting experience to focus on something like this. I feel like I've been getting a little bit lazy with my comprehension since I can understand the plot of most things now. Sometimes I don't bother to try to understand, you know, descriptive words or just things that aren't central to the meaning. So yeah, I think that exercises like this will be really beneficial and something that I want to continue doing. Also, obviously, the cultural aspects of it are really beneficial as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.